Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a bridge with a road on top of it, underneath it, and I will show you how to connect those two roads together for all of your city building needs. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. The first thing that I will show you how to make is the bridge itself, and I want you to know that the height that we are making it is the bare minimum height. You can make it as tall as you would like, but I wouldn't make it any shorter than this, so please adjust the bridge to your own personal needs. Begin by placing four stone blocks on top of each other. One, two, three, four. Extend to the right by 11 using stone slabs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Place a stone on the end and connect it down to the ground. Extend the block on the ground backwards by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Extend up by three, one, two, three. Match the same amount of slabs that we have on the front of the build. That means that we will extend to the right by 11. Place a stone on the end and then extend down to the ground. We then want to connect our stones together, left to right or back to front like this. Then starting on the right side here, we will place a stone and then a sea lantern, two stone, sea lantern, two stone, sea lantern, and then a stone. We will then add another row of stone on top of this, and then come all the way over to the opposite side and match. What we have on the opposite side. I feel as though I was a little bit late with the second half of that sentence, but I think that you guys know what I was getting at. Next, we are going to remove all of the grass from underneath our bridge. We will replace the two outer rows of grass with smooth stone. This is on both sides. And all of the rows in between with grey concrete. Place stone brick wall on both sides against the grey concrete to create a barrier. Next, we want to place a row of smooth stone along the inside rows of the stone slash stone slab rows at the top of the bridge. We then want to fill in between these with grey concrete. On the front and back of the bridge, we want to place a stone block on top of every other block along this row, with stone slabs in between. We then want to match this on the opposite side. Now we have both of our roads, a road below our bridge and a road above. Let's connect them together. This is easier done from the top. Extend this smooth stone to the left by two. One, two. Extend forwards by three. One, two, 
3. Extend down and forwards by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 1 and forwards by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 1 and forwards by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we can dig these last two rows to the right and join and connect these two, the two smooth stone rows that we have beside our lower road, like this. What we can then do is place rows of seven grey concrete left of our mid-air rows of smooth stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eventually, once we have added all of these rows, we will now have our hill, and all we have to do is extend our grey concrete backwards here, and join to our pre-existing road, and fill all of this middle bit in using grey concrete. Let's add a row of smooth stone along the outside of our row of grey concrete, extending all the way down to the ground on the opposite side of the road. Now, we are going to extend our road into the ground by digging a row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we will dig across. And we actually want to join all the way to the opposite side of the road underneath the bridge like this and then all we have to do is remove all of this grass in between and replace it all with grey concrete. Now we can extend our row of smooth stone all the way around the outside of our grey concrete road. Next, let's cover up underneath this hill by placing grass block along the outside of our road. I'm going to place it something like this. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to place oak leaves along the outside of our smooth stone path, like this, extending all the way up to the very top of the build. I will even extend to the bridge like so. And then I'm going to place stone brick wall 
above and outside of the leaves that I've just placed. And then we simply want to connect these down to the ground. Next, let's add a simple pedestrian crossing at the base of this hill. Where the pavement ends, we leave a gap of one and dig a white concrete into the ground. Leave a gap, white concrete, leave a gap, white concrete. We will then extend this one to two rows across like this, I like two, this is a simple zebra crossing for pedestrians. Next, let's add some road markings to the ground level road. We find the center of the road first of all. We will have three rows to the left of the center and three rows to the right of the center. Let's start where the pavement here lines up with the road. We will dig one, two, three rows in the ground and then leave a gap of three, one, two, three, and then dig three more. One, two, three. Leave a gap of one, two, three, and then dig three more. So on and so forth, extending to the opposite end here. We will then fill all of this empty space in using white concrete. And this is how I like to make my dashes in the middle of the roads, if possible. For the hill, it is a little bit different. I won't include any markings at the base, but Extending up the hill, I will place a series of dashes in the center of the road, only two rows long, like this, including all the way up at the top of the hill as well. And I'm also going to add some dashes to the bridge as well. I think that the best place to start would be right in the middle of the bridge, so the middle of the middle. That's right here. This lines up with the road markings below us and the middle of the road up top. Place a white concrete, dig left and right, place a white concrete like this. And then once again, I'm just gonna leave a gap of one, two, three and dig one, two, three, like so. That's perfect. We could add more. We can space them out differently. I'm quite happy as is. We don't have enough road on this right side here to accommodate another three. Next, let me show you how to make some simple street lights. These can be placed anywhere along here. I usually like to line them up with the road markings. So the middle of this one is a good place for two polished blackstone wall on top of each other, a beacon on top, and hopefully we can reach and place a black carpet on top of that. You can place that on just one side of the road or on the opposite side as many or as few as you like. Whilst we're here, let me show you how to make a simple traffic light. This can be made by placing a polished black stone wall with two black concrete on top of each other. Throw down the loom, open it up, place a yellow banner in there with red dye and apply the chief pattern. Put lime dye in there and apply the base pattern. Black dye in there and apply the bourgeois indented pattern. Apply that to your traffic light and there you have it. Place these anywhere you like, at the base of the hill, at the top of the hill, anywhere that might make sense. And there we go, those are the basics of building a bridge with a road on top of it, underneath it, and how to connect them together. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to watch any more of my videos, check out the Mini City Builds playlist. And if you would like to download every single build in this city, consider becoming a channel member. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.